Now, in the last part then, we're told that we've got a point Y on the line L2 such that the vector Yx is perpendicular to L1. So where is this point Y first of all? Well, if we extend this line, okay, so let's just draw it out here. Where's Y? Well, if we're going to have a perpendicular from X to the line L2, I would suggest that Y is, say, this point here. Let's just mark that on so that from Y to X that is 90 degrees. And we're asked then to find a Y, so how are we going to do that? Well, already we know in the previous part that the distance AX was 4 root 26. So let's just write that in, that that side is 4 root 26 units. We also know from an earlier part of the question that the cosine of the angle theta was in fact 19 over 26. So what does that mean? We can calculate AY very easily from this result because the cosine of an angle always compares the adjacent side of a triangle with the hypotenuse and this will be the hypotenuse. So we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So therefore what we can say is that the cosine of theta equals the adjacent side AX which is 4 root 26 all divided by the hypotenuse AY. So we divide it by AY. So since we know what cos theta is, it's 19 over 26, we've got 19 over 26 equals 4 root 26 over AY. And if we were to times both sides by AY and 26, you'd get 19 AY equals 26 times 4 root 26. Let's just leave it as 26 times 4 root 26. And then all I need to do is divide both sides by 19. And you've got 26 over 19 times 4 root 26. And we're asked to give the distance AY to three significant figures. So if you do that, you should end up with AY equaling 27.910 and so on, which when rounded to three significant figures is 27.9. Okay, so that brings us now nicely to the end of this question.